I may lose some of you here because it's complicated. It's learning. I talked about learning a little bit in previous video. This isn't always taught much because uh, you've already learned English grammar and it can be confusing to learn a new type of grammar. Don't be deceived by your learning of English grammar. Subject verb sentences are not motivation reaction units. Now they are, which is why I said it's complicated. The grammar of motivation reaction units are a different thing than the grammar of subject verb sentences. We'll review the Lonesome Dove Seed sequel, MRU, that I talked about, discuss simple versus complicated MRUs. Uh, after we review that, I'll explain why, as a rule of thumb, simple motivation reaction units are in scenes, while complicated motivation reaction units with internalization are in sequels. Again, that's as a rule of thumb. It's not a hard rule of MRU grammar. Now, um, I'm presuming you're watching this in the sequence of videos about motivation reaction units in scene sequels. Dwight Swain, in Techniques of the Selling Writer, or Tricks and Techniques of the Selling Writer, uh, taught MRUs before he taught scene sequels. You learn how to write MRUs, you put those together in scenes and sequels. Motivating stimulus, character reaction. This is from Lonesome Dove near the end of chapter 14. <coughs> and this sent. I feel Young Dish should have his shot before you ruin her completely. Jake snorted. The young cowboy was the least of his worries. That's an MRU. Now, Larry McMurtry might have written it differently. He might have written... Before you ruin her completely, I feel young Dish should have his shot. And might have written, the young cowboy was the least of his worries. Jake snorted. I would change things around. Would that have been clearer? Well, for some people say yes, some people say no. This is not the first time I've talked about this. Uh, now, if I'd ask you to address the, you know, what's the subject and what's the predicate, um, as just as far as straight English grammar, you would give me an answer and probably most people would agree. Um, for that sentence and for these two sentences. But MRUs are not based on English grammar. What's the motivation? Well, we're talking about the point of view of Jake. There's four characters here. Augustus, Jake, and they're talking about Dish and Lorena. Referred to just here as her. 
and here as that girl in the previous sentence. What if he had written this as, before you ruin her completely, I feel young Dish should have his shot. The young cowboy was the least of his worries. That's a Jake Spoon internal response. Jake snorted, an outward physical response. As far as the more complicated MRUs, Jack Bickham called them stimulus response unit and the more complicated was SIR, not just stimulus response, but stimulus internalization response. Bickham probably would have written, the young cowboy was the least of his worries because the stimulization, stimulus is what Gus said, his internalization was the young cowboy was the least of his worries and his response was Jake snorted. Deborah Chester also teaches action reaction units, simple and complicated. Uh, and she might have written it that way. McMurtry wrote it this way. Point is, it doesn't matter. And at the same time, it does, I understand. But from the point of view of motivation and reaction, it doesn't matter which way you write it. The result, and this is what's key, is a motivation and a reaction. Whether you call it a public or private, like here, private, internal, young cowboy, was the least of his worries. That's entirely inside Jake Spoon. External, Jake snorted. That's visible. You can hear and see it. This is text in quotes. Before you ruin her completely, I feel young Dish should have his shot. Public, private. That is simple. Deborah Chester, action reaction unit. And this is complicated. Now, she teaches internalization components fall in a specific order. Feeling, emotion, then thought, then action, then dialogue. That's not the way Larry McMurtry wrote it. Um, I think it can be flexible and successful in your writing. But I also think that, uh, again, as a rule of thumb, simple motivation reaction units are in scenes, while complicated motivation reaction units with internalization are in sequels. And I think this is part of the sequel, this MRU right here. So to go over the scene sequel, I'd have to go over a much longer passage. But I'm focusing on the MRUs. And even though this is short, 
this has an internalization and uh, it's a more complicated MRU, even though it's very straightforward, very short, and appears to be a simple MRU. Got it? Well, what I would like you to do, and since you're not formally my students in a course, and I'm not your editor, I can't make you do it, but I've used Lonesome Dove here as an example. I'd like you to, to think about it and share. As a rule, one out of 10 that are actually thinking about sharing, only one of 10 will do it, but maybe one of you will share uh, from a different source, not loads of stuff. And I don't care what it is, whatever you read, Harry Potter, Dan Brown, uh, whatever it is, share a simple or a complex or both uh, motivation reaction unit, whatever you call it, public, private clip, stimulus response, whatever.